Now what I'm doing is making sure his mouth and his nostrils are cleaned out real well. Just cutting a little deeper with my knife. And then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to cut the feet off. I'm going to cut these feet off like right out at the elbow. And what this allows us to do is because all your bases that you might be mounting your squirrel on, like I'm mounting it on that piece of cedar, you might not be able to get all of his feet to touch the wood the way they need to be. So what you do is you cut them off the ankle and you fill this remainder that you're cutting off. You just put some clay in there. I'm going to be using some critter clay. And that allows you to manipulate the leg so that you can make sure that all legs are touching the wood how you want it because you can't just get, you can't always get the feet perfectly the way they need to be to fit your base that you're using. So we're going to cut these feet off right here at the elbow after I get done cleaning the mouth out. We got that all cleaned out. Now I'm going to cut these feet off. Right about here. Well, I got my piece of um, wood done that I was going to mount my squirrel on. I got these keyhole type hangers done and I got them on here. So this be hanging the wall like that. And I'm going to mount them like this. This would be something like that. And that's about it with that. So. Going to get the squirrel out and skin him out and get him ready for the mountain. Hey everybody, got the squirrel defrosted. So, got him out, about to skin him out. We're going to skin him up the belly, like so. And then he's going to be in the running up position, so you're not going to see any of that. And that's going to be sewed up. Like I said, this is a roadkill squirrel. So his head's pretty beat up. But after we skin him, we're gonna wash him in some Dawn soap and dry him out with the air compressor. And that's about it for that part. So y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna skin this guy out.
Well, got them all skinned out. Gonna have to go clean them up. It wasn't the easiest skinning job in the world because he was, like I said before, he was roadkill and his head was completely smashed up and it made it extremely difficult to skin his head out. But got that part done. Gonna go to the sink and wash them out. Wash them with some Dawn soap. Get all the grease out of them, make sure you got all the blood. And just to make them fluff real well. So after we're done washing them, we're going to take them to the air compressor and blow them dry. You can use a hair dryer too if you don't have an air compressor. But the air compressor works well. I haven't done it before, but I watched a lot of videos and that's what is used most often. So, we got them all cleaned up. About to go dry them out. Now, now we're gonna dry our hide off. You wanna make sure you get it real dry. And this will this should make it fluff real well. This will take a few minutes, but Make sure you get it real dry so it fluffs how you want. Nicely. There's his head, white nose, black head. But he's all fluffy. So we're gonna get the mannequin and start mounting this guy. Okay, well we got him all dried out. And hot paste. Gonna get some borax and we're gonna make sure. There's borax all throughout the inside of his hide. So this is the preservative we're using. You just want to make sure that it gets all throughout here. Don't worry, get it everywhere. You can always clean it up after. Well, we got them all boraxed up. So, next, we got the mannequin. And remember, I'll cut the feet off. I got the critter leg here to put at the end of his own feet to replace what we cut off. And this way we'll be able to manipulate the feet so all of them touch the log properly. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to get some hide paste and put them on our mannequin. So we'll work that critter clay up and all the way up to the foot. Don't want any holes or gaps. 
Okay, now we gotta set our eyes. Got a pair of just regular 11 millimeter. I'm pretty sure they're 11 millimeter eyes. Here. So we're gonna get a little bit of our clear clay and set the eyes real quick.